Hello everyone. Here we will discuss about root mean squared propagation optimization. Simply it is called RMS prop. The limitations of uh, ADA grade is here the alpha t the different learning rate at every iteration for each and every parameter when it is uh, becoming uh, uh, large then it makes the eta t the learning rate becomes low so when learning rate is becoming low then we can uh, get small updation in the uh, small small updation in the uh, update rule okay weight parameter update uh, updation process so it leads to uh, increase the number of iterations to reach the convergence point when increasing the number of iterations the convergence process will make low so to avoid that we are going to use rms propagation which is an extension of uh, the stochastic uh, uh, sorry gradient descent and ada grade algorithms which is improving the convergence speed and the stability of the model during the training process which is also using adaptive learning rate for the optimization process which is using moving average of squared gradients here to update the uh, i mean uh, to use different learning rate adaptive learning rate here which is using the uh, squared uh, squared value of gradients okay the gradient will be squared up to make the converging speed faster okay so here uh, it makes the learning rate is always less than the certain threshold value it will not uh, uh, give the i mean it will not allow the learning rate to go beyond the uh, certain threshold threshold value so always it should be less than a certain threshold value so it is giving you dramatically uh, reduce the computations in the training of neural network so this is one of the advantage of rms prop than the ada grade algorithm so the squared gradients are used to reduce the learning rate by forgetting the earlier gradients that means uh, for the epoch 1 is here epoch 2 is here epoch 3 is here epoch 4 epoch 5 epoch 6 that means iteration 1 iteration 2 iteration 3 iteration 4 iteration 5 iteration 6 7 8 so when you are using this suppose you take the iteration uh, iteration or epoch 5 the epoch 5 will consider the uh, more weightage more weightage given to fourth comma third uh, gradient value uh, but it will give less uh, weightage to uh, the one th first epoch and second epoch uh, iteration uh, updation of that gradient values so this is using uh, to overcome the limitation of ADA grade. The ADA grade uh, limitation is slower convergence. That uh, slower convergence speed is uh, uh, in uh, speed is uh, slower convergence process is overcoming by forgetting the earlier gradients and uh, giving more focus that means more weightage to the uh, recently used gradients giving you uh, the uh, overcome of that slower convergence in the ADA grade. So, which is leading to smoothly adjust the learning rate for each and every parameter given in the neural network. So, this adaptive learning rate giving you better performance than the batch gradient and also ADA grade uh, optimization method. So, uh, utilizing that uh, exponential weighted moving averages are very useful to update the parameters in the given network by using rms propagation method the algorithm is given here initially we are taking the learning rate and the exponential decay rate that is giving you in the notation of beta and small constant value of epsilon we have to initialize and initialize the weight parameters before starting of the training process then we will accumulate the exponential uh, weighted uh, average so weight exponential weighted average is used to um, update the adaptive learning rate 
so here which is focusing uh, recently used weightages is recently used weight gradients uh, with more focus and uh, the past gradients uh, that is um, uh, that past gradients will get less weightage so that is the usage of this parameter we will have to repeat the uh, process until reaching the convergence point or we can use maximum number of uh, iterations or epochs here uh, the gradient is calculated with respect to the uh, weight parameters after calculating that uh, gradient we will uh, update the exponentially weighted average which is denoted with uh, small uh, vt uh, the uh, uh, current uh, exponentially weight uh, 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 average is updated by, from the previous step that is uh, most recently used uh, epoch weightage value so more focus giving to the uh, uh, value of this one and less focus for the current value so okay the current value okay the current step is getting less focus so more more uh, weightage giving to the uh, previous weight okay previous time step okay so based upon that which is updated the current uh, weight based upon the previous step weight alpha into the gradient of that uh, weight over the error and here this is giving you the weight decay that exponential moving average value then epsilon uh, epsilon is uh, used to avoid the error which is division by zero okay so when the vt becomes zero epsilon giving you small positive constant uh, to avoid the alpha rate becomes zero okay so this is used to uh, update the parameters by using the historical uh, historical that is previous gradient values so the alpha is updated uh, with uh, uh, adaptive uh, adaptive learning rate so by repeated process for each parameter it helps to adjust the learning rate for each parameter based upon the historical gradients okay historical gradients in the sense the previous steps gradients the t minus one step is getting more focus and more focus means more weightage you look at that how we are getting the more weightage suppose if beta is 0 0.9 means here the it is getting 0 0.9 into some value but you look at that current gradient we are getting square of gradient so that is the exponential weighted average okay so here we are getting 1 minus 0 0.9 which is giving you 0 0.1 so this second term is getting uh, less weightage than the first uh, first term so that's why we are saying exponentially weighted average that is previous gradients are getting that is historical gradients okay previous grades are getting more weightage than the current uh, weightage okay current term weightage right. so this is useful to uh, this is useful to get uh, the convergence faster than the ADA gradient I mean uh, gradient descent algorithm ADA gradient also using uh, the adaptive learning rate but the ADA gradient is not using the square of uh, weighted average okay that is not using the exponentially weighted average so that's why that uh, 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 convergence is very uh, slow in the ADA gradient but here it is using the exponential uh, weighted um, average that we are getting um, uh, faster convergence than the uh, ADA gradient algorithm so here this uh, picture is giving you gradient descent is taking more number of oscillations to reach the uh, a convergence point at the same time when you are using the RMS propagation due to usage of uh, adaptive learning rate at each step you look at that very minimum number of uh, uh, a minimum number of iterations or epochs using to reach the convergence point so the convergence speed is high then stochastic uh, stochastic I mean uh, sorry uh, batch gradient descent algorithm thanks for watching